hey guys welcome to my channel today i have for you it's google's brand new game builder this is pretty much a game that lets you create a game it's very straightforward and very simple it just came out a few days ago a game library then let's try the fps first okay play So it has three views, right? If you press V, this is the uh, first person. If you, if I press V again, it goes to a third person. If I press V again, it goes to the sky mode, um, the top level, right? So let's since it's a FPS game, let's do this, okay? So use FPS camera, press V to switch if needed. Okay, let's go. Um, okay, there you go. Uh, so this is a weapon press e to grab or release this blaster there you go i picked up i picked up this gun pretty good so if i press e it shoots all right so i can also do this but it's hard to see oh what was that there you go Oh yeah, so if I press E, I just dropped it. Oh, let's pick it up. Um, can I go here? There you go. Oh, shoot, shoot. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, so I'm a little bit cheating. Alright, there you go. Platformer. Okay, so platformer is the same view, right? To do this, so. Uh, should I. Okay, get all the stars. The, the cave over there will open, okay? What happened? Okay, there you go. Yeah, so I'm not very good at platformer. Because you gotta jump. Uh, you have to... Um, and then you fall. You have to... Okay, the platformer you have to play in this way. Oh, this is pretty cool. It lets you jump. Alright, now it's, it's, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm used to this. I can play now. It's like playing Mario, right? I missed it. Um, yeah, platform looks more fun than FPS, uh, right? Because um, all right, let's check out the uh, the next game. is the card demos so welcome to the card demo fair uh, walk around and enjoy the demos to see the stuff to see how something works just go into the build mode and use the logic tool okay careful this one causes damage so it's, it's a locked when you jump oh I guess like you can learn right like let's say how careful this font causes damage okay so there you go i'm getting hit so you can do is like press tab or click here and then you can click on the farm and then go to logic it tells you like when you so you have if and then do so this is an event and this is an action right and this is an if uh if and then do so if uh collision happens the collision between collision with any actor happens then you do this action the action is a damage target so it's going to damage one point to whoever collides with this All right so that's pretty cool right 
It's very simple and straightforward. Where's my health, by the way? This one, it says, so like, this gate says it's locked when you jump, when you bump into it. Okay, what? It's locked. Okay, so we can check this out. It's probably like same collision, and then it shows text, I'm guessing. Right, so if I click on this, it's going to be a collision event, and then they say, uh, say something. So this is very straightforward. You can learn this way as well. Um, can I pick this up? Oh, there you go. So we can check this out as well. This is very interesting. So if you press tab, click on the key. Um, okay, now it's on the player, I think. So there you go. This is all the player section, right? So you have movement. Movement is player walk by WASD. Uh, player mouse look. Uh, these are all part of the move card. Uh, then you have the events, which is like if and else, if player press the button, uh, for example, if I press jump, then it's going to jump. Uh, then you have health, um, when taking damage, the camera is going to shake, um, and when you reach, uh, you know, and at death, is going to say sound, or it's going to play this sound. Um, then what do you have? You have another if and then, then if the, if, um, which button which key a to z no e if you press e right and then it's going to do this action which is a grab item so this is very interesting it's pretty straightforward it's just a card you just drag and drop it here it's going to grab item uh, grab the item that i am aiming at okay so whatever you aim at is going to grab that um and this is a item grabable item so this item has to be grabable in order for it to grab so i guess like it says grabable item can use can throw custom offset custom rotation okay that's pretty good so yeah so you have to grab an item and the item has to be grabable so that's for the player item or oh, there you go grab item right hold distance is this hold height max grab distance three all right pretty cool straightforward right I mean, you can pretty, pretty much this gate opens when you bump into that mushroom over there. So, I mean, that's a collision, and then it's gonna use some sort of like rotation to open the door using messages. This gate opens when you bump into that mushroom. Okay, yeah. So, when I bump into this, it's gonna send a message to this gate, and the gate is gonna open. There you go, it slides open. So, you can check it out. You're gonna see uh, if I click here, you're gonna see collision event. And then in action would be is going to play sound. No, it's going to broadcast a message. Is is the message is open sesame, right? And there's no delay here. Uh, so you have to remember the name of the message, open sesame. And then it's going to say message. Uh, it's going to show you message like opening gate. Then uh, if I click on the gate, which is is hidden here. So if I move this, let me, there you go, the gate is over there, right? Yeah, there you go. So I just clicked on the, the gate was hidden. So if receives a message called open sesame, then it's going to do this action move once, right? So it's going to move speed is five distance, right? So it's moved to the right uh, once. There you go. And what else do we have here? This is how you can learn. This is the best way to learn. Press button, uh, bump into it to launch the ship. So if you're, see, it uses the same message, sending message and receiving message. This is going to send a message to this, and this is going to perform the action. So if I bump to this, it's going to go high. Right? That's pretty cool. But I can bring him back though. This is an X. If I press E, I can grab it. You can grab this X because it has the grabable card in its item panel. Uh, so if I press it, I can grab it. Pretty cool. Uh, let's check it out. It's the grabable item is this. Can throw. Okay, you can also throw it. Um, so grab either paintbrush and paint the rocks. Hmm, this is very interesting. So, okay, there you go. See, it, when it collides, it does this, right? Um, so, okay, that's pretty cool. 
So if I throw this, let's uh, investigate this. So this is a so this is going to be a grabbable item, right? That's we know that grabbable item, right? We know that. And what this rock is doing when this brush collides is going to change its color. Um, hey, so we have two if and then one collision, both of the collision, and then it changes the color, right? um but why there's two of them okay so one for they're like two brushes right one for each so if you say if uh, blue paint brush then it's gonna change the color to blue and if it collides with the orange paint brush it's gonna do the thing uh so what happens that this is the original rock and i think this was duplicated this is a copy so this is the original one so you don't have to like and create multiple objects and logics right oh nice so when you go here, it increases velocity. Let's check this out. So collision, and then push at velocity. Um, event causer. So you can also this event causer is the player. So what it so it's not specific to the player. It could be NPC as well. If the NPC goes near, it's gonna uh, do velocity y. All right, let's go simple plat moving platform okay so let's check out how this is being done um so it has movement anything to do with movement it is here uh it's a move card so back and forth right so let's check it out what else is there so these are the all movement cards you have back and forth chase uh one direction look at uh looks at the target actor path Wonder, wonder around player mouse look player car uh, like turn uh, player speed throttle player walk by WSC spin okay, pretty cool let me see the player controller is pretty big right so many things all right so let's check out So we can let's check out this. Let's check out um, NPCs, right? So if you go to Google, Google um, if you go to build mode, and then if I go to create, and I can go to characters. So we can create NPCs right now, okay? Uh, so let's use a fox. Uh, it's going to be nobody. It's going to be an NPC. Uh, alien is going to be an NPC, um, and 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 what is this i think this is me right uh this is another robot let's 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 work with this um let's do logic click on the fox okay click on the fox let's do logic of this fox so what do you have here it has so many logics already Okay, I know what it has the player logic already, right? Okay, but what do you want to do with this guy? We want this player to let's see what it does. Let's see. Here we go there. So they don't do anything. So they probably probably has the player functionality, so you can use them, turn them into player one. Let's let's do that. Okay. Um, let me remove that guy. And put fox here and then say fox I want the fox to be player one okay let, let go there okay the controller is messed up though why is working weird what about now okay now this is fine right there you go I'm playing with fox all right let's check this out so I'm gonna turn them into NPCs okay um, so I'm gonna go to logic and click on this alien guy so these are all the controllers so what i'm going to do is add go to movement add move card i'm going to add wander around okay so it's going to wander around i'm going to do the same thing for this guy wander around and then i'm going to add another card to can i do both of them yeah i can do both click one extra okay i have to do one by one my fault so right now it's going to wander around okay it's going to do anything and if I add another one, it's gonna do is it's gonna look at me, right? 
And I'm gonna do the same thing for this guy. Look at me. Let's check it out. What happens? So you go here. Wait a minute. These guys are acting weird. Uh, what are you guys doing? Look at player. Look at there. Why they are on their OA? Move. All right. This guy actually is following me. The other guy is acting so weird. Oh, I know why. Because it's players. So they're following players, right? It's, it's bad AI actually. So let's do this. Um, I am player. I'm Fox. So I have to be specific. Uh, right now it's more very general. It could be any player. Um, look at who. Um, no, but player is me though, right? Okay, let's go to a specific actor and do Fox. Okay. Oh, there you go. And this guy is looking at that and following that guy. So I'm going to do the same thing for this. Um, specific actor. Fox. So they're both going to follow, follow me. And look at me as well. So we go to V. There you go. See that? Okay, that guy, the alien guy is walking weird. Oh, I know why. <laughs> this looks funny. Ooh. 